Jane and Craig are the homeowners here, downsizing to move into this home and their daughter, Lindsay, lives with them part-time when she's not living in California where she works. They brought me in just to help open up the space, do a reno, and so you could see from the front entrance right to the back of the house and have this really nice open airy feel. We always start with floor plans. They really just wanted to centralize the kitchen, make it more part of the hub of the home. We wanted to go super, super modern, a juxtaposition to the really traditional elements of the rest of the home. Originally, there were two windows, and we relocated one and added two of them actually on either side of the kitchen, go almost to the floor, so have high impact. So we wanted to create that U shape that's more functional for the kitchen, have lots of counter space. So we've sectioned off this one area that could be a little workstation, and then given them a pantry on the other side to separate that from the dining area. Another thing that we did in the kitchen to brighten it up and make it feel more spacious was just keep it all nice and white. The cabinetry and the walls are actually all the same color. Chantilly lace, a favorite. Just keeping it really nice and light and airy and it really expands the width of the space. The dining room, say the dining room, but we removed the wall from the mid dining room area. It definitely feels a lot bigger. It gave us a lot more space to move around the table so we were able to do a wider table than what they had. We got all new furniture and we added a new really modern light fixture and just gave it a whole new look. We all loved the architectural features, the corbels, ceiling medallions, the stair banisters. We were all in agreement that was gonna stay. All of those features that are just so unique to the Cabbage Town neighborhood. So the sitting room that we're in now was previously a sitting room. We did a few things in here actually. We got them all new furniture. They do have a den area at the back of the house, so this room could just be fun. It was more for you know entertaining or maybe reading a book. It started actually with the pink couch. We started looking, we were like, definitely want to do a curve, and I think it was just sort of a nice organic shape separating the dining room from the living room. Came across this color, and they were game for it, and at that point we were like, okay, we're gonna have some fun, we know that. We also revamped the fireplace. It was a lot more traditional, so we modernized that with a new mantle of porcelain, and then we gave them really modern bookcases. In an effort to stay away from the moldings, we didn't go all the way to the ceiling with them. We just capped it off with a modern top, so they stand alone. The light fixture was actually original to the home. Jane really wanted to keep it. She loved it, and I think it really works well with balancing the traditional existing features with the new modern features. We do have an eclectic mix of furniture. We have some really contemporary upholstery pieces and then this interesting wood piece. And that was actually a lot of Jane and Craig sort of pushing to say, you know, we want to have something wood and rustic. And then we came across this, actually. It works really well, and I think it gave them that contemporary feel with the glass top, but still that really rustic, burled wood and just seems to work really well in the space. There was a powder room, but actually it was separating the weird dining area with the kitchen. So we tucked it against the wall and it's a lot more compact. The wallpaper, it's a zebra print and having some fun with that too. There was a little bedroom, which is now the walk-in closet. And then where their bed is now was this sort of weird den, kind of lofty, which it is still now. We just reoriented the entrance into the room, adding the ceiling, paneling on the ceiling to draw your eye up and warm up the space and then just outfitted it with all new furniture and cabinetry. The rug that's in there is actually their existing rug that was in their living room. But it works really well in there and ties in the headboard fabric really, really well, that navy. It's almost like a mid-century modern vibe, more so than down here. And we loved the idea of that long, low headboard. And I do think the ceiling paneling warms that space up a lot. So the ensuite, basically their mandate there was a nice big shower, double sink, space to put their towels. There's actually a built-in hamper in there. And there is also sort of closet area that's, you know, for added storage space. Just exactly what they needed in the bathroom. I love renovating Victorians. One of the biggest challenges, I would say, was definitely working with the existing moldings as much as that's the best part of it. You know, in terms of like the corbels and the medallions, like it's hard to mimic and do it right. So it's best to just keep that as it is. And then again, just bring in things that are simple and modern that complement instead.